Hi, my name is uh, Carlos Brand. I'm from ACIT Driving School. And today, Mandeep and I, also from ACIT Driving School, we're going to be doing a video on some um, tips in how to manage a few driving um, scenarios. All right, Mandeep? All right, yeah, that sounds good. And uh, we are uh, doing this video in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. That is correct. Yes, we are in Edmonton today. Okay, perfect. So, Carlos, uh, my seat is um, already adjusted. Seat belt on and uh, car is on. Mirrors are good. So, we are good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Just make sure that before you pull out from where you parked, check your mirror, you know. Okay. Then uh, you indicate in the direction you're going to be moving, in this case, it's going to be left. And you're going to do a shoulder check to the left to make sure the road is clear. And whenever you're ready to go, whenever it's clear, you can just go. Okay, let's go. So, car is in drive. Signal, mirror check, shoulder check. Nobody there, so now we are good to go. And we go left here. Yes, so we have to put our left signal on, of course. Anytime you move, uh, you change directions, uh, you should put your signal light on. And uh, also when you change, uh, when you move from uh, one space off the road to a different space on the road. And where you do know. we go from here, Carlos? Okay, we're gonna do, make it a right turn at this corner. Okay, okay. so I signal right. Yes. You and do signal. I have to get in front of this That is correct. Like what you have okay. to do is you have to angle, no matter how close the car is to the corner, you need to angle in front of the vehicle. So you sort of move into the right space or right lane of the road. Okay. Okay, before you can actually turn. You're gonna stop before the crosswalk or before the stop line. Now, yes. if you can see from that point, what you're gonna do is after you made your full stop, you're gonna creep up or you're gonna move forward a little bit so you can actually get a better view of the road before okay. you, you go Okay, sounds ahead. good. And the stop sign is only for me, so I go forward. No traffic, and now we are good to go. And I go in the nearest lane. That is correct. You take the first available lane to you when you turn right. In this case, will be the right and lane. And we are uh, turning right or are we going Yes, straight? we are going to be turning right. This is a turning lane only. So okay. you're, you know, you have to turn right. Yes. And my light is green. So that means uh, we are good to go. And in That's this correct. case, do I still come in yes, this you stay. Yes, okay. you stay in the lane you were in before. The other lane just sort of came part of the road after the turn. So it doesn't really count. You stay in the lane that you were in at the now beginning. Now I see a car. Um, crosswalk so what do I need to do here so I just you just you always and... okay first of all you should be scanning the road from left to right as you're driving so you don't have to slow down unless it's a pedestrian waiting to cross okay okay and uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna change lanes to the left lane so, so I gonna... signal mirror check shoulder check when it's yes. clear that's when I move over that is correct yes. my light is green and I see a pedestrian walking man sign and that's it's a green there so that means the light gonna stay green for a while now I see uh, ambulance coming this way. So should I move over to the right no, side? No, you don't have to. Oh, okay. Now, all you have to do if you are meeting the uh, the emergency vehicle right at an intersection, even if it's coming the opposite, if it's going in the opposite direction, you should stop because they may be turning in front of you. Yes. But in this case, uh, the emergency vehicle is going a different uh, route. So. And they were quite far. Yes, yes, and they were quite far away. But that's a good observation. You should always be looking ahead. Um, always look at least, you know, 100 to 150 meters in front of you. Okay. So you can be uh, ready for whatever, you know, is coming up. And uh, you can manage whatever situation um, approaches. Yes. And uh, when I stop behind a car, do I need to I need to see the back wheels of that well, car? Well, you know, this, it's not a rule. It's, okay. it's an unwritten rule, really. Uh, you, yeah, you should be able to see the, the rear tires of the vehicle on the pavement. Yes. Uh, any closer than that, you know, if you need, if the vehicle in front of you breaks down and you need to uh, to move around the vehicle, if you're too close, you will have to back up. Yes. And you may have 20 cars behind, behind you. Yes. So it's going to take you a while. Also, if you get rear-ended, you know, you know. Also, you're gonna maybe avoid hitting the car in front of you. Okay, I see. Are we still going straight? Yes, we're going straight okay. for now. I will let you know ahead of time when it's time for you to um, to turn somewhere. You know, left or right, and you know, you will know. Okay, sounds good. Yes. 
And um, I do have one question. If I go over the speed limit, is that an automatic fail in the test? Yeah, well, it depends. It depends how fast you go over the speed limit and then how often. Like if you go just maybe a couple of kilometers over the speed limit, you know, you do it once, you know, most likely nothing will happen. So a couple numbers here and there is not a it's Big not it's, it's not a, when we're talking about a couple of kilometers an hour, yes, right yes. so if it's 50 and you go on 52 53 once and you recognize it right away and you bring it down to the proper speed then you'll be fine okay. but if you keep doing it often you keep going over the speed limit yes you actually may fail your road test because you're not able to control your speed mm -hmm. and a person that drives properly that understands how to drive should be able to control the speed yes um yeah and someone told me if I'm going too slow, that can also be a possible automatic fail. Fail, that is correct. Now, the way we, we teach uh, beginner drivers is that uh, you shouldn't go more than five. I mean, five below the speed limit is ideal. Okay. So if but it's you shouldn't 55, go. If I go at 45. That is correct. Okay. If you go, ten, you know. 10 below the speed limit is acceptable, but it's not ideal. Yes. Now, if you go below, more than 10 below the speed limit, it can be an automatic fail. Yes, then, because I'm creating interference with other traffic. An obstruction, yes. Okay. You're obstructing traffic or you're impeding traffic. Okay. And that will most likely fail you. Okay. That is yes. an infraction. So, um, yes. So, okay. ideally, five below the speed limit. Now, remember one thing about the speed limits is that the speed limits are set for ideal driving conditions only. Okay. So okay. if it says 50 and it's, we get in a lot of snow, a lot of ice on the road, you legally you can go way below the speed limit. You can even go 30 kilometers an hour legally. Okay. Right. But if the conditions are ideal, the, the roads are dry, um, clear, there's no reason why you should be going more than five below the speed limit. Okay. Sounds good. Makes sense.